This is my poem I typed upon the computer. It goes, a peach is a peach, a plum is a plum. A kiss is not anything without some tongue. <laughs> I'm one of eight kids. It was definitely pretty crazy, but I think that's what made me who I am today. We had a really strong team. I have five sisters and two brothers, and I'm the fifth. And our whole family philosophy was kind of family first and looking out for each other. And our gymnastics coach donated gear to my sisters, which changed all of our lives for the better. My sisters like helped me make my first resume and we got sponsored together. We would save money all summer long and try to get to nationals the next year. And I've had a lot of competitive success in the last decade of snowboarding from ESPY awards, Olympic gold medals, X Games medals, US Open titles, World Champ titles. I know I've done a lot, but there's still a lot more I want to do. I found snowboarding at a really young age and it's kind of been my tool to navigate me through life. I just want to have fun this winter. I want to go to Japan and ride POW and enjoy the culture. I want to use my Polaris's and go to snowmobile and get comfortable in that aspect of backcountry. I want to ride some fun park. I'd love to get to Alaska, but I'm kind of putting it out to the universe and letting the weather and everything determine how the season goes. First trip of the year. I love Japan. I haven't been there in probably 10 years. I love the culture. I love the POW. I love the food. I just want to go explore, ride some pillows. I think it'll be a good place to kind of ease into the season. I'm bringing Yuka and Jess to Japan because I really love both of their styles of riding. I think Jess has done so many amazing things for women snowboarding. Yuka, I've known for years. She's such a strong rider. And being from Japan, I thought it'd be really fun to connect with her. Will Jackways, he is such a positive guy. He's been spending the last 10 plus years there. I'm really excited to see what he has in store for us. We just go where the night is. Don't care what the wrong or the right is. Don't care if we ain't invited. We just go where the night is. We just go where the night is. Don't care what the wrong or the right is. Don't care if we ain't invited. We just go where the night is. We just go where the night is. Don't care what the wrong or the right is. Don't care if we ain't invited. We just go where the night is.
straight from Japan. I dipped into the contest scene for a minute. There's that front side ten. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Pretty much got smoked, and I couldn't have been more excited to get back into the backcountry. Um, our next location is British Columbia. We're gonna head to Revelstoke. I've actually never been sledding there. I'm going to link up with Dustin Craven, who's living there now, as well as Charles Reed and Darcy Sharp. Dustin and I have known each other for a really long time. We competed together and watching him go into the backcountry and kick ass inspired me to kind of follow his lead. Charles Reed and I have been friends since we were teenagers. I've always loved his style of riding and I've always wanted to go out and shoot with him. Darcy is really positive and fun to be around and brings a light vibe. I feel Alaska means everything to snowboard filming. All of my favorite segments I've ever watched have been captured in Alaska. My mindset going into Alaska is very unsure. It's been a little bit of a crazy season up there, so I'm just hoping to go up and get some solid conditions and safe snow. Elena Height and I 
started competing together when we were nine. Now we're both at a place in our career where we want to explore more backcountry. I'm so impressed with Elena's riding. She's doing amazing things. Robin Van Jin, she is one of the first girls I went out in the backcountry with. She's a really powerful woman and a really powerful snowboarder. She charges and she's really fun to be around. After working with Charles in Revelstoke, I thought it would be amazing if it worked out for him to come to Valdez. Luckily, he has an opening in his schedule and I'm so stoked to ride Alaska with him. It'll be his first trip and I'm sure it'll be nothing but amazing. After a crazy competitive season last year, and this year's been pretty intense with all the backcountry trips, I'm really excited to go back home to Tahoe, where it all began for me. I feel so thankful my family raised us here. Our school was nature. I think that's made me who I am today. To me, Lake Tahoe feels like a power place on the planet, and I love coming back here to recharge. We have Steffi Luxton from New Zealand, Maria Thompson out of Denmark, and Alexis Rowland from Minnesota. These girls are all inspiring in different ways. I'm just happy to watch them shine and ride and share my home mountain with them.
love for snowboarding is unconditional. It was my first love at, you know, 10 years old. And I'll definitely be snowboarding till I physically cannot. Yeah, baby, give it up. I just want 